Hi, my name is Bart Polson, and in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to take just a couple of minutes to show how to uh, get data from an online spreadsheet through Google Docs uh, into an online statistical program, StatCrunch. I use both of these in my classes, and I think, think they're wonderful tools. Uh, in particular, the Google Docs, uh, which is a free online program through Google, um, the spreadsheet is a fabulous way to enter data on group projects because everybody can access the same online file and everybody can enter the data at the exact same time. Up to 50 people can be uh, typing in the same spreadsheet at once. Uh, greatly facilitates group work, so I'm a big fan of it. Anyhow, um, in an earlier uh, video I showed how I created a, a short questionnaire form, a fictitious one about a study on attitudes towards college. I think I have it open right there. That's what it looks like. Um, and I just had a few questions about, you know, age and gender and relationships and uh, three attitude questions that are rated on a 0 to 10 scale. And I simply made up some data to go with these. And, you know, so there's age and, fe you know, I code this as female. Um, and zeros and ones are almost universally yes, no's. So one means yes, they're female. Zero means no, they're not, they're male. And I talk about this in an earlier video when I, I set up a, uh, a data entry form. I do that in Excel, but it works exactly the same way in Google. Anyhow, here are my uh, data. And getting these data into StackCrunch is, is super easy. When I did it in SPSS, we had to do this little rigmarole where I saved it as a text file. And you can do all of that here. What you do is you go to File and Download. If you're going to go to SPSS, you'll need to save as a text file. And uh, you'll be able to import it the same way I did in my, uh, my other video. But um, StackCrunch can open up in an Excel file. And so what I'm going to do is I go to File, Download as, and Excel. And I'm just going to click on this one. And it just asks me where I want to, you know, what I want to do. I want to save one. So I click OK. And super fast, and now it's downloaded. Now, it actually went to my download folder right here, but just to make life easier, I have a copy here on my desktop, data form for SPSS XLS, and it, it is an Excel file. If I click on it, Excel will open it up. Um, but now I'm going to go to StatCrunch right here. If I can get it open to it. Oh, let me just go to the front page of StatCrunch. Okay, there it is. I'm logged in. And to, enter, uh, to import a data file, you just come over here to My Stat Crunch and open Stat Crunch because load a data set into Stat Crunch and use the software to analyze it. Well, that's what I'm going to do. So I open up Stat Crunch, or My Stat Crunch, and then right here it says load a data set from my computer. That's what I want. And all I do as I hit browse to say where the data can are. They're on my desktop. It's this one. I just double click on it. There it is right there. Whoops. And as long as this one right here is checked, then I can just basically skip over everything else. I don't really have to do any of that. I'm just going to come down to the bottom and say, you know, load file. And ta-da, there it is. It's super easy. I have the ID, the age, uh, the gender one, which is written as female, the relationship. I'm going to make that just a little bigger so we can see the whole thing. And the three attitude variables. Um, now, in SPSS, I'm able to do variable and value labels that turn these into you know, easier to understand things and give the QO1, QO2 you know, labels that say what they are. Uh, there's another way to do that in StatCrunch. I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do it in another short video. Um, but the data are there, and they can be dealt with now. And I hope that helps. Thanks.